This video is part of my series showing you how to use Python and Scapy to hack networks. You can see other videos in this series by using the link below. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to run a DHCP exhaustion attack or DOS attack if you prefer. Basically, we're going to grab all the IP addresses available from a DHCP server so that the address pool is exhausted and other devices can't access the network because they can't get an IP address from a DHCP server. In this example, I'm using my own home network for this test. I've got Kali running within a virtual machine on this Windows laptop. I've got some Mac share, which I'll use for testing, and I've got a physical Cisco router that is my DHCP server and connects me to the internet. So I'm gonna be DOSing my own network. Never attack networks that you don't have permission to attack or that you don't own. Now, before we get started, if you enjoy these types of hacking videos, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. That really does help me with the YouTube robots. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first script is very, very simple. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're going to import Scapy. We're going to turn off checking IP addresses so we're not making sure that the address that we send traffic to is the address that's gonna reply back. So we're gonna disable that. And then we're going to craft a packet. This is a packet that we're creating from scratch. We are creating a DHCP discover message here. At a layer two, so ethernet, the destination is gonna be a broadcast. This is a broadcast address in Ethernet. This is why you need to learn the basics of networking, for instance, by doing Network Plus or CCNA. Get an understanding of the basics and all of this will make sense. We're going to use a random MAC address as the source. We basically wanna fake a whole bunch of clients. So we want a bunch of clients sending broadcasts to a DHCP server asking for IP addresses and therefore using up the entire IP address pool on the DHCP server. Source IP address will be four zeros, destination will be a broadcast. UDP source port, the source port will be DHCP or boot P client, destination port will be 67, which is DHCP server or boot P server. As you can see, I put a lot of comments in my code. I'm trying to do as much as I can to help you learn this stuff. And one of the ways to do that is to put a lot of comments in the codes so that you can understand what the script is doing. Now we're setting some options here. That's basically asking for the subnet mask to use. We're using a random MAC address and we are sending a discover message. And then we are sending the crafted packet into the network using ethernet zero. We're going to loop this. In other words, we're gonna continuously send packets and we want verbose output to see what's going on. Okay, so I'll copy that script. As you can see, basically only a few lines of code, very simple script, but in this example, just to make sure that you're following what I'm doing, I am bridging my Kali virtual machine to my Wi-Fi adapter on this laptop. That's the built-in Wi-Fi adapter, so I'm not using an external adapter. I'm basically bridging Kali to my external Wi-Fi adapter. Okay, so I'll open up a terminal. Use Nano, which is a text editor and I'll create a file called dhcp-dos1.py. I'll paste that script in. It's a very simple script, control X, yes to save it. So LS shows me that I've got that script. Now before I run it, I'm gonna connect to my Cisco router. Show IP DHCP bindings will show me IP addresses associated with the DHCP server. At the moment, there's none. I actually cleared them for this demonstration. So you can use the command clear IP DHCP binding star to remove all the bindings. Now you don't have to do that. I just wanna show you that I can get all the IP addresses from the DHCP pool. And on a Cisco device, I can see which addresses are excluded by using that command. And I can see the address pool by using this command, show run pipe section IP DHCP pool inside. So I can see that I've created a pool called inside. The network of addresses that I'm gonna be allocating are 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Default router is this. DNS server is this address and this address. And I've specified a lease time. 
Now the excluded addresses show me which addresses will not be allocated. I could, as an example, have IP addresses reserved for servers. So I don't wanna allocate those IP addresses using DHCP. So in this example, I've excluded addresses one to 10, as well as 125, as well as 140, all the way up to 255. So when we run the script, the last IP address that will be allocated is 192.168.1.139. Now, in my example, I'm using a Cisco router. You don't have to use a Cisco router. This will work with any DHCP server unless you're implementing security mechanisms such as DHCP snooping to stop this kind of nonsense. Okay, so once again, show IP DHCP bindings. No addresses have been allocated, but on my Kali server, I'm gonna type sudo python3 dhcp dos1.py. Kali is my sudo password. Try again. And as you can see, packets have been sent into the network. Now let's see the bindings. Notice a whole bunch of IP addresses have been allocated to random MAC addresses. And as you can see, the last address is 139. So do that again. I've got addresses allocated from 12. 125 won't be allocated because that was reserved. So it went from 124 to 126, all the way up to 139. Now, let's see if it stops clients from joining the network. In this example, on my MacBook, let's turn on the Wi-Fi. We can see that the Wi-Fi is on, but cannot connect to a network. We do not have an IP address. We cannot connect to the network. So the script is still running, taking all IP addresses, and notice my client can't connect to the network. Without an IP address, I won't be able to connect to Google as an example. So this device cannot get to the internet because no IP address is allocated. My script is simply grabbing all the IP addresses and not allowing any device to connect to the network. So again, my Cisco router has all its IP addresses allocated to fake MAC addresses. No real client can access the network. Now this script is continuing. CPU is, is spiking on my laptop because it's sending all this traffic into the network. And that's one of the reasons I like to use physical devices to show you a real example of how this would work. Now I've also created another script. This has some slightly different options. I've linked both scripts below this video. These scripts are available on my GitHub page if you wanna get hold of them. But as always, only use this for ethical hacking purposes. Do not use this for malicious purposes. Use these scripts for good, not for bad. Don't get into trouble. Now again, you could enhance this attack by creating a rogue DHCP server, allocating IP addresses to clients, getting them to then send traffic to you, so making you the default gateway so that you can run a man in the middle attack. Lots of options available with this. Now in the real world, once again, you may wanna implement DHCP snooping, port security and other mechanisms to stop this kind of nonsense. It's important that you secure networks in the real world. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal, and I wanna wish you all the very best. <music>